and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome, welcome, welcome. That's right, I'm coming to you from inside the big top because today I want to talk about the circus. Yes, the circus. Um, you see, in its day, the circus was huge. It was big. It was bigger than monster truck rallies or opera in the park. It was big. It was big. There wasn't a lot happening. And when the circus came to town, everybody went to the circus. And in part because they had great shows and they had a great acts and they had exciting things happening and the music and the clowns and Oh, it was exciting. But also because the owners, the people who ran the circus knew what they were doing because the week or two before a circus was coming to town, they would have a, a special team that would move ahead of the circus. And a week or so before the circus came, they would plaster that town with posters. The circus is coming, the circus is coming. And it had lions and tigers and elephants and circus stuff on these posters and everybody, by the time the circus came to town, everybody was so excited. The circus is coming, the circus is coming. And then they would fill the tent with their people and that's how they made their money. And it was exciting at the time. This is before internet, and TV and all things like that. So when the circus came to town, everybody was excited because they knew it was coming because the people ran the circus, they knew what they were doing, all right? And then it was also because the circus had great acts and word of mouth. People would say, I heard that this circus has this or this or, or this, these gymnasts or, or whatever. And so everybody knew what was coming. Now, today is a special day in the church here because it's Palm Sunday. It's Palm Sunday, and so Palm Sunday is the Sunday. Now, you read this, listen to the scripture carefully, because it's when Jesus came into Jerusalem, and everybody started shouting, and they gathered around him, and they laid palm trees down, and they waved the palms, and they laid their cloaks down so Jesus could walk on it. And there was a huge, huge parade, a parade. Now, there was something else about the circus that also happened was when they did come to town, they'd set up their tents outside of town and get everything ready. And then they would gather all the acts and the wagons and the horses and the elephants, and they would parade through town to say, come to the circus. So everybody knew there's a parade and it's a circus parade and everybody would go down and see the circus. So if you think about that first Palm Sunday, it was sort of like, a big parade. And the thing was, everybody knew Jesus was coming. And if they didn't, they'd hear from somebody else saying, you got to see this guy. It's the greatest thing ever. Bigger than monster truck rallies. So when Jesus did arrive, people came flocking to see him because they knew, they knew ahead of time that this Jesus, we may not quite understand who he is, but he does big stuff. And we want to see it. We want to hear what he has to say. We want to see the miracles that he does. That's why people were gathered around. Because they knew Jesus was coming to town. Jesus was coming. And they all flocked to see him and watch the parade. All right. Something to remember. Jesus, everybody knew about him. And they all came to see him on that first day, that Palm Sunday. They came to see Jesus at the parade. Let's pray. Loving and exciting God, we hear so much about you, and we hear so much about Jesus. People flock to see him, and we want to know him better too. Help us to find a place along the parade route so we can see Jesus, so we can hear his words and see his miracles. Amen. All right. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the parade.